hello and welcome back so now we have our users right the next thing we want now is to get our product all right so let's just copy this here okay so actually let's first copy the user the products function which is this one because again this is just the same thing all right so let's just copy all of this and comment this out and of course up here paste this in and now we want to change a few things so first we'll get our connection which is right here all right so we'll just copy all of this go back to our users right here remove everything mongo related Paste the scene and now we have a connection and a cursor. Now all we have to do is go down here now and get our product. So we're simply going to say SQL. All right, and this is going to be equal to select everything from and this time instead of users, we want to select from stocks. All right, so stocks is a table right here all right so we have users and stocks as you can see so select everything from stocks so now we have all of our products all right so the next thing we need to do of course is execute this so my cursor to execute what do you want to execute we want to execute our query all right so now that we have all of that now we can say products is equal to my cursor dot fetch all all right so that is done now we can simply remove this find function and now here we are going to do the same thing so here instead of appending that we want to append product code is going to be one i believe let's go down here and simply say select everything from stocks all right so id and product code so product code is one product name would be two and product weight is three in stock would be four actually in stock is not four i believe four is price we were not getting this price here all right we're not getting price here we're going to fix that all right in our other items so for this one we're going to skip price as well so where are we now we are right here the stock is four actually is five not four because four i believe is price and thus will be six this would be seven and this would be eight. All right, I believe we're done. Control S to save this. And now let's try this. Hopefully it works. All right, so Python three admin do buy. All right, so manage products, and we have all of our products. All right. So as you can see, unfortunately, here we're skipping the price. We're going to fix that in the next one, all right? And also fix it for Mongo users as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Like this if you do. Share it if you like it. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.